This is Twit. Well, I wanted to hear you see if you could explain mirror to me. Decentralized <clears throat> mirror. Is this is, something to pay attention to? It's a to publishing platform. A decentralized publishing protocol. Um, okay. It's on the, it's apparently on the blockchain. Yes. <laughs> this sounds a lot like what is it? this morning. This blockchain episode of isn't Floss automatically Weekly. bad, you guys. No, no, I, I, I understand the point of blockchain. It oh, seems that was like less to you and more like Jeff. Like, it oh. seems like over. No, 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 no. <laughs> over complicated. When you use Mirror, you log in with your Ethereum wallet. You got one of those, right? Yeah. I, I do. actually do. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Some of us do. You guys are way ahead of me. <laughs> we cool kids got them. <laughs> you don't use it as with username or password. You use your wallet. That's kind of interesting, and your, which means your account is owned by you and lives on an open blockchain instead of a centralized database. All data published on Mirror is cryptographically signed by users and stored on permanent decentralized storage Okay, so there is That's a, a server. Our weave. Well, this, decentralized storage. What does that mean? Let me look. That's up. what I'm trying to get to understand here. Well, in theory, the blockchain. Some stuff you can't. You wouldn't want to put whole blog posts on the blockchain. That seems. Let's see. Here people, is people have whole mechanisms for storing chunks of data in different like. Yeah, look, maybe IPFS. Computer. Yeah, that's the idea yeah. of IPFS. Our weave. A R weave. Store data permanently. Store documents and. This is interesting. It's a collectively owned hard drive, might be IPFS, that never forgets. Welcome to the Perma Web. Hmm. So this is where your uh, your data will be stored. I guess if you if you're using Arweave, you'd probably have to participate, right? You'd want to give some of your. This actually sounds really interesting, Jeff. And, 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 Do you and, earn and tokens there's stuff in there for, for NFTs too? Hosting? It can be you could integrated sell. in. Yeah. It natively yeah. supports new crypto native business models around tokens and NFTs. For instance, posts on Mirror can be minted as entry editions, allowing them to be collectible. <laughs> yeah, collect Ooh. my blog does it, posts. Does it pay you uh. for like Taking like some of your computer storage, I'm going to assume becomes part of the like, the distributed storage. Do you get like tokens for that? Mm, I don't know. I can't tell. say here. that because that's that's a really it. like. It, I mean, I've I've been high on decentralization for you know a decade, and with some of these blockchains and token like cryptocurrencies, it is actually incentivizing people to maintain consistent records over time, right? Because a big issue is like you might sign up and then you're like, eh, screw this, I'm not interested in it. And then you take it offline, right? You don't care. But if you have an economic incentive to like maintain it, which is what this can do if you have a token or something like that, the NFT feels a little silly, but that's just me. Well, mm -hmm. uh, even more, this seems like overkill for a blog post, most of which are ephemera. Yeah, but hey, you know, hey, hey! Speak for yourself. For Jeff's blog post, just <laughs> mine are all in it. granite. For the, no, actually, seriously, <laughs> your blog posts are real essays and should be preserved. I think they're not being preserved yeah. as well as they could be. My blog posts, on the other hand, are ephemeral. Yeah, same. Here. <laughs> I feel like we should just accept that everything is kind of ephemerate. I mean, think about it. Well, think about is. like all the. Yeah, think of, well, let's get real Oh, deep my here. God, now um, I'm depressed. <laughs> but no, just think about, I mean, like, look at how much culture we've lost over time and how haphazard the findings we have are. And the it's it's pure hubris to think that our stuff is really going to, I mean, yes, we have Shakespeare, but I guarantee you a million other people were writing, maybe not a million, but lots of other people were writing at that time frame, and we've lost a lot of their pamphlets or they're not worthwhile. So, I mean... I don't know. People I who think are like, this is cool. For instance, uh, Ant could. It doesn't have to be blog posts. Could do his photographs this way. You could have could a photography his, yeah. blog, yeah. and I'd be uh, totally fine with that. You can mint the uh, entries, connect the revenue to a stream or auction. I wonder what. Oh, the you token can. Is. Yes, it supports crowdfunding, so you can yes. rally the support of your audience. On Mirror, anyone can raise funds for an idea or project using the crowdfund block. You know what? This is really interesting. Thank you. For uh, you also us. have Token Race. Have you heard about Token Race? What's Which that? Fred Wilson has written about. So Token Race is a way that um, I'm going I'm to completely blow. If you look up Fred Wilson and Token Race, uh, let's see. It, it's a way your audience can choose, can curate, can choose what goes up. Yeah. The to create a Token Race, 
Oh, it, no wonder Fred's writing about this. It's Mirror. mirror is his, <laughs> I didn't know that. Till mirror now. is his portfolio <laughs> company. Okay. There we go. Uh, so our portfolio company, Mirror, has been using a game mechanic called the Right Race to onboard users to the Mirror service. I'm oh, very right, right interested token. in this. Yeah. You need a right token to publish on Mirror. The best way to get it is to join the right race that happens every Wednesday. Oh, we missed it. 5 p.m. Eastern. Shoot. Shoot. Anyone who joins a... We're arguing then. Yeah. If we had just been stopped yelling at <laughs> each other, we could have joined the right we race. We could have tokens now. You can now vote for new users in the right race. The top vote getters are airdropped a right token and can publish on Mirror. <gasps> Fred got his right token a while ago. What a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he now publishes a mirror image of this blog on Mirror. Yesterday, Mirror announced they've expanded the game mechanic to any activity that requires a token. They call it a token race. Imagine your DAO, don't know what that is, wants to admit new members. Uh, but, I had to look that up too. But needs a way to do that. Token race. <laughs> the centralized autonomous organization. That's me. Uh, imagine your DAO wants to distribute funds to worthy crypto pro pro projects. Crypto race. Token race. It's like a crypto race. So, to create a token race, the user specifies the address of the ERC-20 token contract to use, uploads a list... Of, oh, this is going to be very mass appeal. Uploads a list of proposals <laughs> <laughs> they'd like their community to vote on. <clears throat> and specifies the minimum number of tokens members need to hold to be eligible to vote. It's, it's just like civil, which is how the reason I have Ethereum is because I, I, I gave money to civil, which was this whole journalism thing built on the blockchain, wildly overcomplicated. Journalists' heads exploded and they didn't know what to do and it died. Um, that's what I fear for this. But there's, let me ask you a question about distributed, though. For all the problems we were talking about earlier and all we don't want the huge company to be involved, is a distributed thing, though more vulnerable in the long run no but so why not but it's less popular because it's so damn complicated so i'll use as my example mastodon which is our federated right. twitter uh it's just less popular because you have to figure it out and it's and it's not it doesn't that doesn't need to be does it sort of because well, you have to find a server join that mm. server then the people you want to follow on other servers you have to understand that you're following them from there so it's yeah it's not immediately obvious it's a little complicated and okay. i think though we're getting to a point there's some services and that's why i'm excited about the crypto thing you can embed a lot of this in hardware so imagine if you bought like let's mastodon may not be a great example but like if you bought the gamers mastodon server right you wouldn't like in a box so basically, or maybe you just bought a Mastodon box and then you connected to certain categories that you liked when you set up your box. Like I think people are becoming a, more interested in buying hardware and maintaining it. And so as part of that deal, you are, you know, your own server yeah. contributing to the distributed network. I'm sure in the early days I, of the I, World Wide Web, it was yeah, a little was confusing and complicated. Mm -hmm. And of course, you, you want to create user layers above you know, honestly, a hardware wallet is basically what you were talking about with your personal blob ages, months ago on this show. And I can imagine that your phone could contain, have a hardware wallet or you'd have a separate device that's a hardware wallet that is your identity blob. And it Isn't has it? it has everything. It has links to the blockchain where the, your personal stuff is stored, things like that, that you control access. You could, you know, I mean, this is, this is, I agree, very interesting. Right now, Crazy, complex, much Can't more. Get a load of this one. Token race supports voting on behalf of a multi-sig account without requiring multi-sig holders to sign their vote using the multi-sig. In order to vote on behalf of a multi-sig, add your multi-sig address to the token race page. Once it's verified, you'll be able to vote on behalf of the multi-sig. <laughs> so that's using your wallet. Get me at it. <laughs> yeah. To but it's but, it's but it's but but it's interesting. And Fred, you know, I, I, I listen to Fred. Fred's smart. There's something here. I just can't Oh, it's it totally out. something. This is very, very interesting to me. Um, well, I put it there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to figure this out and, and do it. Yeah, um, I, I found a couple links, and I'm going to look at it some, too. Yeah. It's, yeah. You it I see, especially since I already have wallets. Yeah, I see. And you've posted, what did you post <laughs> there? You posted a, a token? I found them on Etherscan. Oh, okay. The, the token. 
So okay. it shows you all the information about the token and how many holders there are and stuff like that so people can research it. If you um, want to read about this, it's dev.mirror.xyz. Or, ah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, even, though, <laughs> even the address is <laughs> opaque. You mean .com? <laughs> XYZ.com? That's where I should go? XYZ.com? No, no. I've put it in our RSC and I've put it in our Discord. Dev.mirror.xyz. You mean .com? No, no. Nope, no. XYZ.com? <laughs> no. 